Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here. And in this video, I'm going to be bringing you guys the best Viesa build here in the First Descendant. Now with this build, you will be able to clear out any mission in the game on hard difficulty as a solo player. It's going to provide pretty good survivability and amazing AoE damage as well. Now on top of that, we're also going to be able to slot this in to get an insane movement speed as you can see. Now, when you stack all of this together, you can actually move incredibly fast on this character. And with the right stuff on, you can actually make for some pretty crazy ad clear and AOE damage. Now, with the build that I have set up, you're actually going to be able to get unlimited abilities. You're going to be able to use these infinitely. Now, if you guys have never used Viesa before, every time that you use one of her abilities, it's actually going to provide something called the cold cohesion and what this does is it actually creates these particles around you and these particles will be sent out to any enemies which come near you and enemy enemies within a certain radius now once these particles hit the enemies it's going to slow them down and also cause chill damage to them and you can stack it up with all of these other abilities now with this build you will be able to have these particles infinitely each time that you use any ability you're going to be given five of these particles and then these particles will continuously be sent around the enemies around you freezing the mob, taking them down, and causing AoE damage as you move. Now, there's also another ability called Ice Road. What this does is you pop that ability, and it's going to cause ice to go. Every step you take, it's going to put ice trails beneath you, as you can see. So not only are the particles going to be slowing down and freezing and damaging enemies, but these ice roads will be damaging the enemies as well, freezing the enemies up. And then on top of that, when the enemies step in it, that's what's going to give you that increased movement speed. Now, I've actually decided to double this up with an SMG with the brisk walk. What brisk walk does is it creates, uh, makes it so you can move faster after every hit. Now, the downside is that it does have a small cooldown, so you're not always going to be able to stack it up. But as you can see, when you have the SMG on, you stack it up with Ice Road, and then you even have the perk on, which increases movement speed while aiming, you can get an unbelievable movement speed. And when you combine it with these infinite particles, you're going to be able to do this AoE damage as well. So I've noticed it's actually quite close to Bunny. And now obviously nothing's ever going to trump Bunny or beat Bunny with the fact that it goes through walls and things like that. But once you have these particles activated, you can activate your grappler. You can do AoE damage with the ice particles while swinging around. Or you can just simply activate Ice Road and just start spamming, hip firing your weapon to do pretty insane damage AoE. Now, this mission is actually one of the survival missions that goes up to like 20 waves. As you can see, I've been able to solo it with almost no issues, and I'm all the way towards the end of the waves. Now, I'm also going to take it into one of these hard battles, one of these hard missions on 150% where you check off all of the, the debuffs to your character and also make all the enemies stronger so you can get a better look at this. Now, not only are you going to be able to get this AoE damage when you're playing solo, that's going to be great for taking out these mobs and these big hordes of enemies but you're also going to be able to completely freeze enemies in place so once the enemies have enough health as you can see you can activate this ice road perk you get the aoe damage from the particles making it so that you can pretty much take them out without having to really fire your weapon anyone that those particles hit they're going to get slowed down frozen up so that they can't do as much damage they move slower as you can see and then when you stack it up with ice road if you have enough enemies around you or if the enemy has enough health, it will completely freeze them in place. As you can see, when we go up against this elite, activate my abilities, start hitting him with Ice Road, and the enemy is completely frozen in place. Now, as a solo player, this helps because you're not going to be able to take damage from this enemy and you're going to be able to deal damage. But if you think about it, when you have a full team with you, you freeze one of these enemies up, you freeze one of these bigger bosses up. It allows your teammates to crit out the enemy. There's no reason why they wouldn't be able to then hit the crit spot with no problem. You don't, they, the enemies, your teammates don't really have to worry about the enemies damaging them because all the enemies will be completely slowed and frozen. So even when playing with teammates, this is actually great. It allows all the enemies to be frozen up. And then anyone that doesn't get taken out by your AoE particles or by the fact that you're running your SMG with Brisk Walk, you, you can just simply take them out. Your, your teammates will simply take them out because they're all frozen up. It's a really great benefit. And the more people on your team, the more enemies that are around, the stronger and stronger she pretty much becomes. Now we're eventually going to get into every single mod that I have slotted in, all of the modules, all of the components and everything that I use to buff this build up all the way. Now keep in mind, there's always going to be better builds out there or builds that just do massive damage to bosses. But this is my overall favorite build and best build where you can take it into any mission 
any boss. You don't really have to worry about going down. You're a great support to your teammates. It doesn't matter if you're playing solo with players, you're always going to be extremely effective. And in my opinion, this class is also extremely fun because it allows for some of the highest mobility in the game. Now, Bunny is pretty quick and stuff, and she does that AoE damage. But in my opinion, it gets a little bit boring sometimes that you don't really have to try. And you just simply hop around the whole entire fight and, you know, it just ends. With this class, you get that movement speed, but you're not in the air the whole time. You can actually get that same speed while on the ground. You can freeze up the enemies. It's just a really fun class to run. I highly suggest testing it out for yourselves. Now, as you can see, we're going to get further into the mission. I'm going to take it into one of the actual bosses here, one of these ending bosses. I'm going to show you how effective this cl uh, class can really be. Now, there's other classes where you can get almost infinite blizzards as well. But I like this class so much better due to the mobility and the effectiveness of just being able to clear out so many different enemies all at once. If you want to go and focus on the boss or there's a higher level enemy around, you just get all these particles around you so you can focus on the boss, not really have to worry if anyone rushes up on you because the particles will take care of them. And then even when the bosses go into these immunity phases and you've got these giant particles up top or maybe you're dealing with the harpies in one of the intercept battles, you can just use the blizzard. It takes it out in like one hit. And it freezes the enemy up so that once they come out of it, you can they're pretty much staggered and slowed down. You can get really, really good crits off. I love this class, honestly. Overall, it's my favorite build, honestly, of every, any Descendant that I've used. I have used about like eight or nine of them so far. And this is definitely my favorite build in the game. Offers the most versatility, the most fun to run. And to be fair, it's really, really effective as well. So you're going to get most of your abilities back infinitely. And by the time the blizzard comes back, you will have stacked up enough enemies. So you can use all the other abilities to slow the enemies down, get them all frozen up. And by the time you've built up a decent horde, your blizzard will be back every time. And then you can use the blizzard to finish off any one that's left in the horde, I've noticed. So if you use the abilities properly in the right order, you'll slow the enemies down. You'll then get the particles, which will slow them down even further, finish them off. And then anyone that's not finished off, you're automatically going to get that blizzard back every time because it doesn't take very long to get back. So now let's get into the mods and every single piece of gear that I have on that is creating this effect and making my character so powerful. So the first thing you'll want to do is have a reactor with both of the slots in. Make sure you have the one on that is suited for your abilities, the right class. Now from there, I have on the Slayer set. This is only available from a hard mode boss. And you can see here, once you have two on, you're going to get increased general rounds. It's not really effective too much for this build. But after that, what you're going to get, after you have all four pieces, you're going to get a skill cost of 15%. So that does mean the skills will cost more. However, I've countered this with certain mods already in the build. I'll show you in a second. But the major effect you're going to get is this 26% skill power. Now, this is going to make, obviously, your abilities 26% more powerful. It does come with that debuff where you're going to get, you know, 20 or 15% skill cost. But like I said, we have some mods to counteract this. And even with all these negative effects where you're going to get that increased cost, still didn't have any problem with having infinite abilities and making it so these particles never ran out. Now, here's a quick look at the mods that we have on. Now, this build is going to be built around or based upon this cold cohesion for what that will do is that it makes it so you get five of those particles and it also decreases the cooldown because without this, you only get, I think, like two or three particles and the cooldown is much longer, about 13 seconds. With this one, it's only about six or eight. And by the time that eight second buff is gone, you are you won't have used all your particles up. It takes too longer to use the particles than it does for them to come back. Now, here's a quick look at these cooldown buffs that I've added on. You're going to get skill critical damage. I've also put on frugal mindset. What that is, does is it makes it so that the skills don't cost as much. So you will get a 15% skill cost increase with those modules on. But it, when you put on frugal mindset, it counteracts it enough so that you never really run out of mana. You can just constantly keep popping them. We also have on multi-talented as well and the tech master. Now, what tech master does is it makes it so those particles are even stronger. But you don't necessarily need tech master you could actually swap it out for maybe fusion master as well like i said guys these builds are never perfect there's there's thousands of mods in the game so there's almost an infinite amount of combinations which you can create but here's a look at what i've put together and some of the sockets that i've put in so far now as you can see there's still two more spaces left meaning there's still room for even more improvement in this build but so far this is what i've got and it's definitely my most fun and most enjoyable build that i've put together on any descendant so far so hopefully you enjoyed this video and this gameplay and I will catch you in the next one.